In our book, uh, we say that uh, competitive advantage or competitive success uh, is never uh, monocausal. You cannot point to one factor and say that that's why the company is successful. Yeah, uh, That's why the company has generated superior returns compared to their rivals. Competitive advantage or competitive success typically arises out of a constellation of factors, you know, various factors combine with each other to deliver uh, success to organization. So what are those key factors that can deliver organizational success? And in our book, we suggest four key factors, resources and capabilities. We'll discuss resources and capabilities in greater detail uh, a little bit later. Uh, that's the first R. Uh, the second one is recombination, by which we mean innovation, uh, because you know most, if not all, innovation out there is a recombination of existing ideas and artifacts in a new way. So it's a novel recombination. Uh, so that is very important. Uh, reach, how extensive the reach of the company, that's very important. And last but not by, by no means least is uh, roots, you know, where the company is located, uh, where the roots of the company are. It can be in relation to a particular location, uh, nation state, or, or it can be also in relation to a particular community in which the entrepreneur is, uh, uh, is embedded in. Um, the entrepreneur, the owner has roots. Uh, so, in general, uh, companies will be successful if they have access to superior resources and capabilities compared to their rivals, resources and capabilities that are valuable, which their rivals do not have access to. Uh, companies will be successful if they are better than their rivals in, uh, in terms of recombining ideas coming up with these novel recombinations. They will be successful if their reach is more extensive than their rivals, right? We said the benefits, we have already discussed the benefits of going international. Why companies go global? Because they have access to new markets, the market orientation that we talked about, and they have access to new factors of production, land, labor, capital, technology, right? So if your reach is global, you obviously have uh, act more access to markets and you have more access to factors of production and chances are that you will be more profitable because you'll be able to better combine uh, those factors of production. And, and companies typically are more successful if they have their roots in innovative economies. So AstraZeneca you know, had this tie up with Oxford. They had prior relationship with Oxford University. They had prior relationship, they, they have other relationship with other universities as well. So those roots allow AstraZeneca, allowed AstraZeneca to come up with uh, this uh, vaccine, which is the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. So roots are very important. And we are going to talk about the national environment in a forthcoming session. And the national environment is all about uh, the organizational roots. Okay, uh, so competitive success comes out of a mix of uh, these uh, causal factors. 